Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. So in the previous session, we have successfully learned about the MySQL, how to access the MySQL database in the Node.js using the MySQL 2 package. We have seen it. Now it's time for us to show the product list details instead of from the file. We need to we need to get the data products from the database. That is nothing but MySQL database, and we need to display it here, both in the home and the cart, wherever we are using the get product details. We'll try to show it. So here if you go into this one our code so this is our code right so let's try to remove these all the things if i go into the app.js file here we have written the basic thing that select star from products so that means it will fetch all the products from the uh, it will fetch all the products from the products table now let's remove this all code so there is no need for us to call it from here we can remove this db connection also now where the connection is actually necessary we need to use the db and we need to call the details where it is actually necessary if you go into our controllers and the home controller and here you will be able to see fetch all products so what does this do so this fetches that means this gets all the products from the file that is present in the data products.json file but this time i don't want this one to be fetch all the products from the file it should get the all the products from the database so we'll try to keep the same method and we'll try to modify this method name in the model so let's go on to the model so this is our products and here i am using get products from the file and this one i have split it into the other other place that is nothing but from where we are using yeah this is the method we are using so right now from now there is no need for us to get the details from the file and all those things there is no need so that means i can remove this one there is also no need for this callback also why because now the we are dealing with the promise thing so there is no need for us to call the uh, callback and all those things there is no need so we can use this then and catch with the promises and we can use it now what i need to do fetch all the products instead of calling it from the a file we need to call it from the database so if we, in order to get it from the database what i need to do first i need to import the db connection so it is present in utils slash database so we are importing the db and here i can use db dot execute you can use the query also execute has the more features and that to using the prepared statements and all those things using the query also you can use it so we will be using the execute so select star from so if you want some people will be writing select like this so those are keywords so if you want you can also write it in a small letters also not a problem from the products products is the table now let's return this one return this db.execute slowly we'll try to convert these all the things come uh, in order to access from the database slowly we'll convert it first we'll trying to get all the products from the database instead of from the table uh, sorry file so now this one returns a promise we know that this one returns a promise so what i need to do let's see where we are calling this one so here i am i am using the search and i am trying to search where we are using in the cart controller we are using in the home controller we are using fetch all products so now this fetch all products this one uh, now this time it will not take the callback it will take the then and catch so it will it will it will return a promise so let's try to remove this all the thing okay i am removing here so we will be having dot then and also dot catch okay so we'll be having dot then and dot catch so here you will be having so it will be getting two uh, it will be getting an array array of array the uh, first first element will consist of the rows that is nothing but the products data and the second array you will be having the field data so column definition data so here you can use a destructure operation and i can get the products here the second one is the field data so you can use it like this so here i am using like this now i can paste the all the code so that's it so now we got the products data here so if you want you can remove this field data we are not using and in the catch you can have an error so if you are having an error we can show this error so we'll deal with the error thing afterwards so right now just we'll simply write the console.log error slowly we'll try to improve the code so now fetch all products it will try to fetch it from the database and it will return a promise so when this promise is executed so this will return a array of products and the field data i am taking only the first array as i need only the first array so the products here i am sending it to the views data so that's it so now let's try to see where we are using this fetch all products so we have completed in the home controller and here in the get admin products page also we are using fetch all products let's try to use the same thing i am copying this all code and here this returns 
so this one completely we can remove it and this one dot then here you will be having array it will return the products and i can write it here so i can paste it directly and this returns uh, and also you can write a catch error so console.log of error console.log of error that's it now another one is product.js uh, product controller and in the cart controller also we are using the same thing okay here this is a callback so entire code so this entire code what i can do is i can copy this one and i can remove this dot then i can use dot then and here this returns an array of products and let's try to paste this all the code that's it so here i can use um, this is the thing only right so let's try to see it here yeah dot catch dot catch and here i'll be having the error afterwards we'll try to see about the async and await also so using this nested thing how we can avoid it we'll try to see about this async and await also we'll try to see it. yeah that's it so wherever we are using the reference of this fetch all products so we have converted into a promise so that it will get all the data from the database now let's try to see the output if i try to show you the output here if i try to refresh this page now the data has been changed instead of getting the data from the file now this time it is getting the data from the database if you want to see so here you'll be able to see only the product title one sample product so this is the data we are able to see it here the image is has gone uh, broken why because we are not using the main image now let's go here and here i will try to change it to sample product 23 and here is also i will try to say uh, i will try to remove this from database coming from the database okay i will change this price also to instead of having this one 10.9 now i will try to apply so we need to click on the apply so that the query will be executed so that's it now this time instead of getting instead of instead of displaying this all data product title 134.99 so this time it should display 10 and sample product from the database like this so why because we have updated these all product details from the database now if i click if i refresh this page see now this time the data has been changed so by this you can be able to understand that the data which we are trying to retrieve here in the in the home page it is coming from the database now if you try to see sorry so now if you try to see in the admin also so the admin also does the same thing only this time from the admin product list also we are able to get the data from the backend so this is how we will be writing the code using the mysql server okay so, so by this we can successfully get the products hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.